YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Tay. Back at y'all with another video, man. And um, today I'm gonna talk about what to do if you happen to relapse. You know, what can you do or what you should do if you relapse? And first thing, guys, first thing you wanna do is don't panic, all right? It's okay. You know what I mean? If you, if you went and masturbated or whatever and you released or you had sex and released, it's okay, don't worry. You know what I mean? It's not the end of the world. But what you wanna do is, first thing you wanna do, or the second thing, is you wanna sit and ask yourself, you know, why did you do it? You know, what was the purpose? Did it benefit you? You know what I mean? Ask yourself that. What happened? What made you, you know, go over the edge? What made you reach that point? You know what I mean? Were you in control of yourself? Did you consciously make that decision? You know what I mean? Or were you just in the moment? Or were you taken over by your urges? Were you were you out of control? See, these are things you wanna you wanna ask yourself and you wanna analyze. So you can fix it in the future. You know, so if you present it with that situation again, you'll know what to do this time. You'll know how to better handle that situation, handle those 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 urges, that feeling. Okay? So you always want to ask yourself, you know, why did I do this? What was the purpose for me doing that? Okay. Um third thing, man, is you wanna you wanna put the right nutrition back in your body. Cause you you you're releasing, you know, a lot of nutrients, a lot of hormones that's coming out. So when you do that, man, that's you're feeling drained. You feel tired. You feel, you know, uneasy. You might have anxiety. You might not be motivated anymore. And that's just because you lack you lack nutrients. You've drained yourself of your semen. So you know your body is is lacking nutrients at that moment because you just released the best of yourself your body collects the best of you from all parts of his body and it releases it you know with the sperm it releases it so that's why you feel drained and tired man so you got to put that back inside of you right so you got to know what you're losing you're losing zinc for one that's main i mean you're losing a lot of zinc when you bust a nut so you want to make sure you're putting that back inside of you so foods that are good for zinc are like eggs you know if you eat meat if you like nuts if you like seeds like pumpkin seeds you can eat almonds brazilian nuts um salmon eggs you know any kind of fish right and you're losing those those omega fatty acids as well, you know. And you want to drink water. You want to make sure you're drinking that water, man. A gallon a day for the guys, half a gallon for women. Cause that water is what's going to help you produce. It's going to help that production, help you speed up that process of recovery. You know, so you're hydrating yourself. You want to you want to be hydrated so that you can. Your body has the energy, the fuel to really, you know, magnify itself again, okay? So, you want to put the right nutrients inside of you, man. So, you can actually make a, like a protein shake. And what I like to do is I get some protein powder, you know, whatever you like. I think I use like hemp powder. Um, get you some maca root. I get the powder form, but they have it in pills also. That maca root is works wonders man it balances your hormones so you'll feel better you'll have more energy you'll build muscle faster if you're in the in the gym um and it just helps you your overall growth man um i also use coconut oil I like to put coconut oil in my shake and um i might throw some peanut butter in there sometimes yeah but you could do that man blend it up drink that eat you some green veggies like spinach, um, I like spinach and kale duo. I like to put that together. You can do broccoli, you know, whatever green vegetable you like, but I prefer spinach and kale. 
I mean, those two together is like a powerhouse. Spinach has a lot of protein in it, and it, it has a lot of vitamin A as well as kale. have a lot of vitamins in it. Okay? And then, of course, getting your vitamin C. So you can lemon water, or you can, you know, eat mangoes, oranges, whatever you like. So those are things you want to do. You got to put that back inside of you. You feel me? So your body can re re regroup, man. You know? And it's gonna help up fast. So like it might cut off. Usually it might take three to four days. You know, you doing that right away might shave off a couple days. So you'll be feeling if you if you release today, you know what I mean, you'll be back back up and, and bouncing on Thursday. Thursday you'll be right back to where you were. Right? So you really gotta maintain yourself. And you wanna learn from that situation. So if you didn't mean to do that, if that wasn't in your intentions, learn from it, man. Be, Grow, you know what doesn't kill you make you stronger so you want to grow stronger from every every relapse or every mistake you make in life you want to become stronger from that situation don't let it beat you down you know it happened it's the past you can't change it you just move forward you know we're not gonna sit around and cry about the shit we're not gonna beat ourselves up and stay down in the dirt we're gonna pick ourselves up we're gonna dust it off and we're gonna keep it moving man you know what i mean because Life is bigger than just one one incident, one situation. You know, all the good that you've done is not going to just go away from one one incident. So, you know, you gotta stay you gotta stay motivated. You gotta have confidence in yourself. You know, and don't let nothing bring you down. You know, this is a journey. You're supposed to be learning from this as well. So, guys, don't worry, don't panic if you relapse. You know, just do what I said. Do those steps. You know what I mean? You'll be okay, man. You know, meditate. Make sure you get your meditation to get your mind right. And then make sure you take your mind off sex for a while. You know, dissociate yourself from those sexual thoughts so that you won't get the urge. Because you get that chaser. That chaser effect is when you, you bust a nut or you have sex and bust a nut. And then you get real horny. You feel like doing it again. You want to dissociate yourself from any type of sexual thoughts so you might have to even get off social media for for a while for a day just to like really regroup your mind and you know get everything back to how it should be okay so guys man just don't panic you know what i mean just get up stay in it get back in it learn from it and we're gonna become stronger you're gonna become stronger on this journey okay but yeah man i just want to let you guys know that man with this quick video but hey, man, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, you know, keep up the support, you know what I mean? And this your boy Tay signing off. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.